hey guys welcome yeah so as i said an example um one example two is always going to be about a function of y so what that means is the formula we derived in example zero will have to be slightly differently written that is we'll have to write that the arc length l is the integral from a to b along y of the square root of um instead of um one plus f prime of x squared we're gonna get one plus uh, dx dy squared and since we're integrating along y we write dy and since we need to find dx dy here uh, that is the derivative of this guy let's get on with that so dx dy is going to have to equal um, 3 halves times 2 thirds times y plus 1 to the 1 half power right okay cool and here we can simplify it a little bit, uh, get rid of these two, get rid of these two, and write that we have um, the dx dy is equal to uh, y plus 1 to the 1 half power. Cool. All right, so uh, we see that our arc length L is going to have to equal, L is going to have to equal the integral from 1 to 4, right? Uh, that's a to b. And then it's going to be square root of, um, square root of, um, and then it is um, 1 plus um, dx dy squared. But dx dy is that, so that squared is just y plus 1. So 1 plus y plus 1 dy. But 1 plus y plus 1 is just y plus 2. So we could just write y plus 2 dy. Got it. Okay, now what we have left to do is just simple u sub. And by the way, the uh, integral that you will be left with at this stage of a lot of arc length problems isn't going to always be this convenient and nice. So you might have to do like trig substitution. So if this were like y squared plus 2 instead, you might have to do trig substitution with, um, you know, sine x. Uh, in particular, x equals um, root 2 sine x if this were... Um, um, or y equals root 2 sine x if this were y squared. But yeah, like you, you will have to do trick substitution in some, in some places. It's not always this convenient. But here, simple u substitution will do the trick. And so we just say u equal um, y plus 2, wherein we see that du is just dy. And our integral L can be written as, um, well, since u is y plus 2, this y, 1, is going to turn into 3. Um, and then the 4 is going to turn into 6, y plus 2, right? And then we have root um, u, right? u is y plus 2, um, and then du. But root u is u to the 1 half, so I prefer to write that, and then du. Okay, so this, of course, means that we have u to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves, so multiplied by 2 thirds, evaluated at um, 3 and 6. So what that means is we'll have two-thirds um, and then times, and it's going to be what? Uh, the square root of 6 cubed um, and then minus uh, the square root of 3 cubed, right? Now, there is some simplifying to do here since uh, 6 cubed has a 3 squared in it and uh, 3 cubed has a 3 squared in it, but I'm not going to simplify. So if you have a calculator, uh, figure out what this is approximately equal to and you're done, but that's that. Yeah, so this is example two and uh, watch example three. Example three is really neat because the function is defined as the integral of some stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, take care.